All right, guys, Coach Ron here, and this is a episode two uh, of my vlog, the continuing series. Um, in this second uh, episode, I wanted to kind of develop the idea we kind of hit on yesterday about mindset, because uh, some new things kind of happened today. And uh, just to review, if you didn't see the first one, we talked about mindset and uh, the fact that the last couple of months have been a little bit of a funk and what's been happening to try to get out of that situation. So mindset, just to kind of set the table, mindset determines everything. Uh, your state of mind, especially <clears throat> in the area of health and fitness that I work in, will really um, determine a client's success or lack of success in their weight loss. So... Um, Mindset is everything. It is everything. And um, so what happens when you're not motivated to kind of keep pushing forward? What happens when um, every day is a struggle to kind of keep moving forward and uh, make progress either in your work or just in life in general? So that's kind of what we talked about. The mentioned yesterday that the, your mind is like a garden, right? And if and if left unattended, right, weeds will show up, uh, and it's our job to make sure we tend to that garden, and um, we do we tend to that garden by keeping a positive mindset. And so um, that's kind of what we talked about, you know, in all, <clears throat> in the first episode. So today we came back from the uh, doctors, kind of fig trying to figure out what's happening, and had some blood work done. Everything's good with the blood, but uh, so it kind of moved us to the idea that maybe something mentally or, or emotionally is happening. And ran a little test, and the doctor determined that I was uh, experiencing a mild depression over the last three months. So um, fortunately, the last two weeks I've been feeling good. I've been tending to my garden and working on my mindset and I feel like I've been turning a corner uh, and so things that I've been doing uh, one is reading 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 um, reading motivational books uh, reading books about business uh, specifically Russell Brunson's um, expert secrets has been good uh, listening to uh, audiobooks um, on my Audible account, so just kind of getting uh, some new information into the brain. Uh, secondly, I've been going back to my gratitude meditations in the morning. Uh, tons of videos on YouTube, where you are right now, um, to kind of get into that zone, uh, to start thinking about the things that I am grateful for, even though things with the business have kind of been up and down, uh, and life here in the home has been a little bit stressful. So. Uh, really just spending some time in the morning. Um, I like to spend at least half an hour, if not 40 minutes. Sometimes I'll spend an hour um, if I have the time, but mostly it's uh, 30 minutes to 40 minutes. Just listening to some gratitude meditations, Tony Robbins, Deepak Chopra. Um, I mean, there's tons of great ones out there by people that I'd never heard of, so I just do a lot of uh, sampling and find the ones that I really like. <clears throat> And uh, that usually sets the table, uh, sets my mind and attitude for the day. And then also prayer uh, and reading the Bible, reading my devotionals. So that's been uh, helpful as well. Got a lot of support from my wife and from my parents, my family, uh, as we go through this time. So um, those are three things that have been really critical in turning the corner. Um, now that we've been able to really figure out that uh, with everything that's happening with the business and uh, Melissa being in uh, finishing up nursing school, um, those three components, the reading, the meditation, and the prayers really kind of helped me turn the corner. So I'm not sure if you have any great ideas about things that you do to keep yourself motivated, but love to hear that. Leave them in the comments below. And I appreciate you checking out the second, second episode um, of uh, the video blog. And... Um, I appreciate it, and uh, we'll uh, catch up soon. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks.